What's going on, Richard? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to take a quick look, see what we can find, right? So I know we spoke a little bit earlier. You don't really have a website up. Um, so let's take a look and see what, you know, like uh, as far as what I can see from my end. So when I put in your name, Cully's uh, Flooring and Paint, I don't even need to be specific by location. This pops up. This is your GMB. It's excellent that you have one. It doesn't have a location specifically, but I'm sure that's on the back end. It's fine, but there's no website. And obviously these work really well with one. So let me show you what happens. I'm going to go through kind of like a beginning 10. So the first things first is we want to start off at the beginning, right? What is, how does somebody find you? So they put in a specific keyword, right? Or keywords. So this is what I put into Google, right? Painters, Portland, Oregon. Because let's say I live there and I need somebody to do a painting job for me. I'm going to be very specific about what I want, especially if I'm looking to to actually do something. We call those buyer intentional keywords. So this is not only service specific because they're looking for a painter, they are also being very location specific to Portland, Oregon. And we would have kind of set your website based around these kind of keywords. But this is how we create Google ads. It's just how we, we rank. It's all based on the type of keywords. Those are key. Actually, there's a couple of things that are like really important. But let's just scroll through and see what we got. So there's no ads for this type of uh, for this uh, go around, but I'm pretty sure there are for other things. So we got Google guaranteed. And then this is what you have right over here, right? The GMB. So Google My Business Profile, it's very important to have one because or be in the top three because about 30 to 40 percent of all people will go here and click on these guys right so you got a really good chance if you're in the top three if you're not in the top three then you really have a, a much lower chance of getting anywhere now don't get me wrong people still click on the more business and scroll through but not many but then after that we have our organic search now anyone can rank here as long as you have a website so Number one in the list is Angie. And again, it's just for this variation of keywords, right? I can switch and do Portland, Oregon painters, and I would find, and, and the ranking and the, the, the way would be completely different. But after Angie's, I got Hughes. And then finally, I got an actual person, Portland paint contractor, but they're called Pacific Coat Painting. So let's see what they have on their website. So I'm not going to say they're doing, they're doing really good on the back end. Don't get me wrong. They are number one for a lot of, or closer to number one for a lot of things. But here, look how their layout is. They have home, interior, exterior, and commercial. Now we both know that there's about three more other services they probably do offer that they're not saying on here that they do. You always want to list for everything because the more variations of the different keywords you have on your website, obviously you can't just put only keywords, right? It's got to make sense via content. Otherwise, Google is going to look at you like a bot website and they don't want that. So um different variations of different things will give you a better result for all those other things and i'll i'll show you in a second here but they have uh, links to all these other pages they have a request and estimate their number up here is a click to call so they're doing well with that as we go through they have a lot of content and you always want content content is key um and you want it to be the right content based around what it is you're doing the trust factors like you, you can do this, you know, what people talk about uh, about you, and then that's, well, that's the end of their site. Now, as you can see also, by the way, they have their uh, social media attached to them. I don't care much for Twitter. Uh, this is their Google account. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, these are the big ones. You definitely want those. And as you can see, their number is click the call. This doesn't matter too much because um, no one really will click on it in an email. But this is going to be very important over here. This is um, a, a tool I use. It's called Ahrefs. It lets me see what's going on behind the scenes. So um a ur rating is how strong a website is and a dr rating is how much google trusts them now these guys aren't doing too bad you want these two rankings in the 30s and 40s with a ratio of one to one and all of that is created with good backlinks now backlinks are you know uh, where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it and a referring domain is when it returns to you now the idea of backlinks is is um some are more spammy than others like buzzfeed and wikipedia you do not want those you want the really good ones like um, painters blogs, stuff like that, things that really uh, enhance your website, not detract from it. Think of backlinks as your your friend group, right? If they're toxic, you're not going to be very good. But if they're excellent and great people, you're going to be elevated because of that. That's how it, it, I guess the best way I can explain it. Then you have organic keywords. So they have 294 different variations of something like, sorry, something like this, Portland, Oregon, Painters, Portland, Oregon. So what are they? So take a look at this. Portland painting, Portland painters, Portland painter. Three different variations, all just like different, like ING to an S, right? 
but there are 1600 people combined searching for different for those three different keywords now he's bringing in about 220 of them because he's in position number three for two of them and five for one of them now if you're in position number one on google one two or three you will get anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of all search volume so it's definitely something worthwhile i mean because if he was bringing in 20 percent for that that's 100 people a month same for this so as you scroll through he's got a lot of keywords on here i don't care much for that one that's an international keyword which means anyone in the world can type that in you want it as local as possible. You want it to be as close to what you want as possible. Portland Painting Company, Painting Company, Portland. Exterior Painting, Portland. See how he's ranking for different things that people might put in? Well, what if he had Popcorn Sailing Removal, Portland, right? That's an, a whole different keyword. Uh, what if he had Interior Painter, Portland, right? Now, look how much search volume there is for all these, and he's getting a huge chunk of the pie there. Um, and yes, he's not rated number one for all of these, but he's bringing in enough traffic that that's so that's okay. Even if just ten percent of these are actually giving a call, then you know that's ten. That's that's really good. So this is the value of a good website. A GMB is great. You definitely want a GMB. Um, again, like I said, thirty forty percent will click on number one. So GMB is something I would I would say focus on very highly. Uh, it's great for you know ranking uh, quickly. You know, kind of moving up the the ladder on that one. And then you have obviously um, website creation. So we would have a conversation about what it is you really want and what you're looking for, what areas you want to service and kind of go from there. And then finally, we would need content in there. Then we would need keywords to go within the content that makes sense. And then finally, the backlinks. And the good news about the backlinks is we can just simply go to Pacific Coat Painters, find out the good ones they have and use the very same ones and then add an additional 50 to 100 on top of that so that you can stay on top. And that's all I really got. If you have a, you know, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to to reach out. Let me know, uh, Richard. Other than that, you have an amazing day.